In this video, I'll be showing you four essential publishing tools that you need in your business. What is going on guys, Sean here. Welcome back to my channel where I talk about self-publishing, building passive income streams and retiring early and the many lessons and failures that I learned along the way. So if you're interested in those kind of things, consider leaving a like uh, and subscribing so you don't miss out on any future videos that I post. So in this video, I just wanna talk about four essential tools for publishing. Obviously there are a lot more tools than just four. Um, I shared many, many tools in the past in my youtube channel as well as all the other youtubers uh, when it comes to publishing has shared a lot of different tools um, but besides these four tools i feel like everything else is um, not essential it's really just nice to have and oftentimes it's not even a plus on having so much tools it can come out as a, a negative it can be counterproductive and i'll be talking about that as well so once again, you know, when it comes to publishing, I used to recommend a lot of different tools thinking it would help people. I thought, you know, all these different uh, keyword research tools will be helpful because it'll help you speed up the process when it comes to niche research, keyword research. And I thought it'll save you time and help you basically. But after coaching hundreds of people through my course, I realized that actually having more tools was counterproductive because uh, what's been happening, you know, especially with the keyword research example, it's a perfect example of you can just have a very simple formula to follow and find keywords super quick, right? But by me offering all these different tools, a lot of people were getting very confused because sometimes, you know, this tool will give you uh, this set of numbers that shows you that this keyword is profitable, but then when you go and check on another tool, sometimes it shows you the exact opposite numbers and it tells you that the keyword is not profitable. So now you have this two opposite results and you know people are getting confused, right? So that is why uh, what I've learned recently is that keeping it simple is the best. You don't need all these other tools that people are recommending. You really just need the bare minimum. Um, so in this video, I'll be showing you just uh, the basics of what you need to get your publishing business started. So one thing to note is this is for high content, uh, nonfiction publishing, other types of publishing like low content fiction may find different tools useful. So just keep that in mind. All right. Tool number one is Katie spy. So Katie spy, uh, as you can see on the site here, it's been around for a very long time. It's a, it's a tool that I've you know, heard of when I first got started in 2016. So it's been around for at least over five years and the cost is only $59. Of course, the price might change in the future, but it's just a one-time payment of $59. Uh, basically, it's a Chrome plugin that will come out uh, like here on Chrome, as you can see. And whenever you go to Amazon uh, and on the search results, you just click on the plugin and it'll just pull all the data from page one. So it'll show you all these results like um, the average sales rank, monthly revenue, average price, and number of reviews. To be completely honest though, you don't need all these features uh, or you, I never really look at this section here. The only thing that matters is here, right? And you can see the sales rank, reviews, uh, monthly revenue could be helpful too. It's pretty much the same as sales rank because those are uh, pretty much parallel to each other. And uh, the good thing is you can sort here based on that. So with the keyword research method that I teach, which is basically finding other books on page one that is under the BSR of 100,000, then that is very, very easy to sort with this because all you have to do is check the keyword, turn on the plugin, and then you just see the sales rank right here. So uh, it's super easy. And then you can switch over to Kindle, audiobooks, and uh, there's other features like, you know, keyword analysis, word cloud, rank tracking. I never really use this. Uh, it's just this, but again, it's a one-time payment, $59. So it's super worth it to speed up your researching process. All right, so tool number two is Publisher Rocket. And by the way, if you guys wanna check out any of these tools, uh, the link is below this uh, video. But Publisher Rocket, again, one of my favorite tools alongside Katie Spy. I believe it's $97, but again, it's just one-time payment. You don't have to pay monthly uh, or anything like that. 
So in the beginning, you really want to keep the cost low with publishing. You know, there's no sense in getting a bunch of tools that you're paying subscriptions every single month and you're just accruing, you know, more expenses uh, for no reason. So Publisher Rocket uh, does a couple things. One is keyword search. So one of my favorite ways to get keyword ideas is to put a generic phrase on Publisher Rocket. So if I wanted to go into like the meditation niche, right? All I put is just meditation or meditation for and then what i can do is have publisher rocket recommend the rest of the phrase for me right so i can get all these different ideas a ton of ideas and then i can go and analyze and what's super cool about publisher rocket's new update is that not only they show you the estimated amazon search per month which is huge right because more people searching for this topic on amazon we know that there's a demand but they also have a color coding system which means that if it's red then people who search for this keyword isn't really converting to a sale that much if it's yellow then they are converting a little better if it's green then they're converting really well so typically what you want to do is to find keywords that has a good balance of estimated amazon search per month plus a green uh, color coding system on this so that is with the keyword search function from there you can analyze competition so you can actually go straight to this from this section so if you find a keyword like meditation for beginners that you want to check you can just click here and then go to the competition analyzer it just pulls the information on uh, all the books that are ranking on page one for this and category search is a huge one so if you want to find other profitable categories uh, you can easily do it here which will save you a lot of time and uh, this is one of the big features here and AMS keyword search, this is going to be uh, upgraded in the future too. It is in the works, uh, but this is where you can get uh, keyword ideas. Again, you just put meditation here, okay? And it's going to just spit out all these different keywords, book titles, uh, author names that you can go and target in Amazon ads. So it is a very, very good tool alongside with Katie Spy, one of my favorites. Again, I highly recommend you grab this now the next tool is grammarly so grammarly actually is uh both free and paid option that they have the free option is really really good if you just want to do that um especially for a business like publishing right your grammar has to be pretty perfect i mean uh, when it comes to, you know, your books, uh, if you have typos or grammatical errors in your books, then, you know, that can lead to bad reviews. So with Grammarly free version, it'll be a plugin that basically whenever you're typing an email or whenever you're typing something on Word or anywhere, uh, it'll go and, you know, check the grammar and then it can correct it for you. So it's a great way to learn proper grammar. Um, so I highly recommend you pick up the free version. The premium version will be able to go and uh, check plagiarism for you and their plagiarism checker is very very good so the premium version is like 10 bucks a month and this is what i use for checking plagiarism i don't use other tools i recommend grammarly so uh, you definitely need a plagiarism checker because if you upload a book that is plagiarized on amazon then that is the fastest way to getting banned okay uh, and getting your account shut down so when you're using ghostwriting, you know, company or ghostwriters uh, with the company, you can trust them a little more. But if you're hiring your own ghostwriters, then you really have to make sure you check for plagiarism because uh, there's a lot of scams going on on Upwork and Fiverr. So this is a must have tool, in my opinion. And the last tool is actually just Microsoft Office, right? So you're going to get Word, uh, Excel. Well, actually, you just need Microsoft Word, to be honest. You don't really need other stuff. But word is what i highly recommend technically you can type out everything on uh, google docs and from google docs you can save as word but it's so much easier if you just have a word subscription on your computer so that you can open up word files and edit there uh, easily okay so um for me i have the whole office suite so it's uh office 365 i think it's called and i get everything to do with microsoft office uh, it also comes with OneDrive, which is one terabyte of space which is huge um so you can also use google drive of course but i do that and it's about uh 60 to 100 bucks a year i believe i forgot how much it costs but i'm on that subscription so 
that is pretty much all you need in terms of the tools. Actually, there is one more tool, uh, which is a honorable mention, Helium 10. I personally never tried it, so I'm not even going to do a tutorial or trying to explain it. But the reason why I added in this is because everyone seems to love it. And everyone seems to say that it's one of the best uh, keyword research tool. So it is on my to-do list to go and take a look. But yeah, don't take my word for it. You know, you go test it out, see if it's actually good, but I'm just putting it here uh, for you to perhaps go and take a look. I don't know if it's good, but I heard it's really, really good. So that is pretty much it in terms of the tools that you need. So um, again, in the beginning, especially when you're getting started with publishing, there's no sense for you to go and rack up a lot of expenses by getting a ton of tools and even free plugins, right? There's a lot of different free plugins that is good, but oftentimes, you know, it causes confusion when it comes to uh, picking your niche or picking a keyword because you're getting contradictory uh, information from one tool with another. And that is why I wanted to make this video very, very simple. And if you would simplify the entire process, Katie Spy, Publisher Rocket is all you need in terms of niche uh, research. And then besides that, it's just Grammarly for plagiarism check-in and Microsoft Word for the other, you know, like admin stuff. So that is all you need. If you want to check it out, the link is below this video. If you enjoyed this uh, video, then leave a like. Any questions you have, let me know. If you want to check out my publishing course, the link is below this video, as well as all the tools and resources that I recommend also in the uh, description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.